We saw smoke, and that means a right rear tire rub, and it just blows out on the straightaway and into the outside wall he goes. Just a result of that contact racing three wide down into turn three. Yeah, and unfortunately, these yeah, tire rubs. Tire load, tire load. Man, that's a hard hit. Yeah, all right, buddy. Talk to me. He does a great job, though. Good speed for Matt. You can just see him getting better and better with every lap. A little bit of a bobble there on the bottom. Slides up, gets into Brendan, and oh. there it goes gone. You talk about a long, lazy slide. I keep it coming here. Well, the fact that those two cars hung together kept Gone from going into the outside wall, I think. He just pushed him okay, on the ramp. have a flat left rear right to the wheel, Brendan. The rest of it doesn't look bad on the left side. Bobbles on entry, Kevin. Yeah, and this is just one of those situations like we were talking about earlier. With the young guys, you get them underneath, and, and with that little spoiler in the back of the car, these cars are a little bit harder to handle underneath because it just takes the downforce off the car. Tiff makes a little bit of a wiggle right there, gets into the side of the 62. I think the 62 might have been mad. It looked like he was just flooring it right there, and it popped his left rear tire. Watch this. He gets position, but you're loose on the bottom. Hits that yellow line, and the thing just starts to shake. Probably some rear tire chatter. In the gone. It looked to me like once there was contact that Tiff really backed out, said, I made him mad, I don't want to make it worse. Well, you, and you sometimes, that that, too? <laughs> sometimes that makes it worse for the car because you just it's like a magnet. You just get glued to him and you can't get off the side of him. Oh man. I mean, on the heels of what happened last Sunday in Las Vegas, I could see a young kid saying, oh, oh my gosh, I don't want to. High lane is good now. How much is that going to change oh. as the run continues? Out, out, and and we've got, got a caution. They're up against the wall at three. It's the yellow 90 car. Fifth one of the day. It's the 90 of Mario Goslin. Car two. I think it's this three wide battle in the middle here. And up the hill goes the 90 of Goslin into David Starr. He just missed the corner for some reason. I don't know if he got loose when he turned it in, but was nowhere near the bottom of the track. Mario was running back. Got shuffled out a bit. Top 10 finish, though. But it looks like maybe trouble in the right front, Kevin. Yeah, and that has all the uh, looks of a, of a right front tire going down, but I would bet that it's probably from the brakes melting the bead. And the melting bead turned into maybe brake fluid and a bit of a fire there. Joey quickly exits the machine. Tough break for that. And the purple number six, Darrell Wallace Jr. running seventh. Spinner, 24, Drew Herring, seventh caution of the day. Was running 20th. Well, this, fellas, this, we get to do it all over again. In the 24 car, down in turn three, is that Daniel Hemrick loose on the bottom? No, Daniel was up ahead against his teammate. That was the 33, 33. of Brandon Jones that he got tangled up with. Whoa, just keeps her out of the outside wall. Second week in a row, Herring's been driving that 24 car for JGL Racing. Corey LaJoy going to return up there, and, and he's definitely had the best car on the short runs today, too. Uh, I wouldn't count out Ryan Blaney. We saw how fast that car is on the long run. They run another five, six laps. Oh, we got trouble. And caution's out. Caution's out. Allgaier didn't want to see this. No, he didn't. Blake Cook into the wall. Eighth caution of the day. But if, if they don't have a conversation on the 7 radio about starting on the top instead of the bottom this time, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to come out of this, out of this booth and have a talk well, with somebody. I've we, we might not want to stir it up that much. Blake Cook was 16th. Well, when you race down into the corner side by side, you can see both guys are wrecking. You know that it's a possibility the guy underneath you is going to get loose. You, you certainly don't expect him to, but you got to be aware that it might happen. Well, in the years past, this hasn't really been the case for these guys in the Xfinity Series. I think as you see the smaller spoiler and everything that's happening this year, a lot of these guys are learning that, you know what, these things are pretty loose underneath each, underneath each other, and they keep learning lesson by lesson here. Great four. Oh, we got a crash in Toronto this year. No caution. Caution will be out, though. 
Hold the brake, hold the brake. You okay? Dylan went around, collected Ryan C. Austin had restarted in the fifth position. Bubba Wallace is racing on the side, inside of Austin. You see Elliot Sadler get loose off the corner there. That opened the door for Byron, and bam! That's Cole Custer that drives into the side of Dylan. And unfortunately for Ryan Sieg, you can see Custer just couldn't get the car turned to the bottom. Maybe loose in, Kevin. Yeah, sometimes when they get when they get loose in or they. You know, you get on a splitter and you just can't get the thing to turn or you don't want to turn the thing because you feel like it might spin out. And unfortunately, Austin was right there. On board with Brent Poole here. Stay low here. Stay low. Come low. Come low. Come low here. Dylan not happy with the rookie Cole Custer. Hmm. Yeah, and that's just kind of stuff that you don't really want to see. That's, uh, you know, kind of Saturday night stuff there. It's racing, stuff happens. This is after the crash. You see the damage for Austin. They just waited for him over off of turn two. Yeah, and if I'm Cole Custer, I'm going to try to find me somewhere to hide behind because <laughs> his spotter is probably on the radio saying, he's waiting on you, waiting on you, Cole, and uh, just get by another car so that you can't be taken out. And like you guys said, I mean, NASCAR has been very clear that that's not something that, that they want to see. And, and as a competitor coming down in, back here in the dog league. Wow, oh, that's really strange how he got loose. That thing just turned, went up the hill. I mean, that's an awkward place for the, the car to get loose. No, no. I'm wondering if Fellas, there's something else. Yeah, that happened. We're late with it. There was contact coming. Larson obviously battling a little bit of loose in condition as he turns into the corners. Through the trial. And Corey LaJoy has hit the wall in turn one. Second caution for contact. Third overall in the race at lap 118. See there, the car just never turns straight. Yeah, it's either uh, you know a tire went down or a brake issue. I right think front it looked was like a it was locked break, up. I think the brake issue that caused the tire problem. <laughs> that probably. could be. Oh, well, we brushed the wall as we saw in this year. Oh, we got one in the wall off of four. Oh, it's, it's a tied car. Kenseth. It's Kenseth. That car will not steer. He is hard against the wall. Window Just uh, down. about 200 feet shy of the start finish line. Lap 192, and our cameraman high up on the roof. Riding with Joey Logano up ahead is Kenseth in 15th Ooh, place. Oh, wow. Yikes. Wow. Man, that hurt. That's when you've ever been in a car that hits the wall like it. You just can't imagine what it feels like. It's like getting hit in a gut with a baseball bat. Matt? And Mike, this run, Matt Kenseth have been. One more look at why we're under caution. Matt Kenseth. Benny Hamlin dropping back a bit here. You, and you. trouble. There's David Reagan in the fence with rookie Greg Galding. Turn one. I think that might be a break for the 11 car because something had happened to him and he was falling like a rock. And Hamlin. There's David Reagan. Oh, he kind of left rear down. That yes, fender sir. was rubbing. That's going to take out Greg Galding. Both send both of them backwards into the fence. And they were racing for the free pass position. Uh, we'll double check that with NASCAR scoring. Ouch. You think this little one mile racetrack, you're not going that fast? I tell you, you look at the damage that done to these cars when they hit the wall, they're going really fast. In a while, oh, yeah. you can see right there. Oh, yeah. You know, as you get to the later stages of these, the, the race like this, and you have that kind of a long run. Man. It's so different. And we have the 22, I think, blowing up. Guys are blow tired. Turn one. Joey Logano. There we can. Got something coming. Most Two likely. more coming. Two more coming. 
Caution out with six laps to go. <laughs> Not what it's Samantha Bush and Kyle yeah. Bush and that 18 team wanted to see more than failed. 22 of Joe Lugano. I heard that thing. That danger zone where we're concerned about those right fronts from excessive brake heat and melting the bead of the tire. Oh, yeah, you can see it's going down right there. Bam. Oh, my gosh. Hard hits. Woo. Joey was 11. Look at these sudden impact. You could see in his hands as soon as he let off the gas and got on the brakes and that tire loaded up, boom.